Hi, my name is Sharon Pope. I help women and occasionally a few brave men get the clarity that they need to know whether they should stay or go in their struggling and disconnected marriages. There's an implication with the stay or go question that I'm gonna challenge today. And that is that I either have to make a decision between how to stay and endure the relationship as it is today, or I have to leave the relationship as it is today. And so I'm gonna challenge that because I don't think that going back is an option. I don't think that's a real option. And I also don't think staying and enduring is a real option either. So here, I wanna explain that. So first of all, sometimes people will say, I wish we could go back to the way we were before we got married, before we had kids, before the affair, before the fire, before the death in the family. That's not even a real option, right? Because those life events change you. They change who you are. So you can't go back to being the people that you were, say, before you had children, because that person doesn't exist anymore. So that's not an option. Let's take that off the table. Now, this other one, I think our brains will tell us this is actually an option. I can figure out a way to convince myself that I can stay and endure this disconnected, lonely, painful, possibly even toxic relationship for another 50 years. If I can figure out a way to just be okay with being miserable and unhappy for 50 years, then I've got an answer. Like, I suppose that that is an option, but I, I don't think it's a good option <laughs> to sign yourself up for being unhappy for the rest of your life, right? So if the marriage is going to continue, then we've got to do it differently. We've got to do what I call marriage 2.0. So here's what I mean by that. Let me explain. The relationship that you have had over the years did not work. It's part of the reason why you're here, why, you're, why you are where you are today, questioning the marriage. So that didn't work. The relationship as it exists today clearly doesn't work, otherwise you wouldn't be engaging in this video. So if the relationship is going to continue, it has to evolve into the 2.0 version of your marriage. In order for it to last, it has to feel good for both of you. So we can't go back to what it was, otherwise we're gonna land right back here in the same place. Like, I wish we could, there was a gentleman who reached out to me this morning through email, and he said, I just wish we could get back to who we were before the affair. And the short answer I gave him was, you don't really want that relationship. You don't want to go back to the relationship before the affair because by the way, you're gonna end up right back here on the other side of another affair. So until we fix the things that were not working well in that relationship, we cannot create something new together, right? So what you had did not work for you. What you have today doesn't feel good. So if your decision is to try to figure out, can I stay or do I need to go? In order to answer that stay question, I think you've got to figure out, can the relationship evolve into a different version of us something that looks and feels very very different than it did before i hope that that helps you reframe the stay or go decision i hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed creating it for you please give this video a like if it was helpful for you and if you know someone who could really use this information right now i hope you'll share it with them take good care